Welcome. I'm the most determined soul, C.J. Berry, the leader of waves and waves of people and determination. C.J. is who I am. M.D. Soul is what I am. So you can just call me C.J. I really don't mind it. And today I wanted to talk about a few things. I wanted to talk about these games right here, Street Fighter and Tekken 8. These are some games that I'm almost willing to say are a little bit controversial in the year of our Lord, um, 2024. And beyond, I think we I think we all can agree that these these games are giving us I don't want to give say a hard time. It's giving us the blues because they don't work the way they're supposed to. I think we can all agree that these games don't work the way they're supposed to. And ultimately, we want to say that they suck. But here it is. I don't believe they suck. Uh, I'm still really enjoying the games, but I can see how you think they suck. So grab a cup of coffee. Like this one. Hold on to your butts. Let's talk about it. I am yelling at you, Orlando. All right, here it is. We're talking about Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8. Um, these two games are, um, I'm willing to say, aren't what we expected them to be. Um, do we like them? Yes. But do we want more out of them? And I think the answer is yes. Uh, and there's a lot of things that people do not like about these games while still playing them. Um, could they be better? Absolutely. But remember, Street Fighter is, is the first year of Street Fighter. Remember where Street Fighter V was day, um, the first year um, compared to where it was at the at the very last year of its existence. Well, it still exists, obviously. Um and same thing with Tekken. Remember what Tekken was when it first came out as Tekken 7 and then where it ended up at um, at the end of Tekken 7. And it was a it was a pretty great game. People complain and, you know, it kind of is what it is. But I want I wanted to get I want to get in the nitty gritty here. There is a lot of stuff that we talk about with these games and um, and why it doesn't work or why it works. And I, I'm willing to have that discussion. And I start off this discussion is, do not tell me the reason why you don't like the game is because it's too easy. If you're, if it's so easy, why aren't you Master Rank? Why aren't you God of Destruction? Oh, because I don't feel like playing the game. I can just get it. Then get it. And then, then come back to, then come back to the channel and, and tell me you got it and it's still easy. But I'm pretty sure there's a high percentage of people that aren't in the elite class of these games to be able to say the game's just too easy. And then for that matter, just don't say it's easy just for the sake of saying that it's easy. I, I kind of I kind of don't like that. So it's like when you see crap, bring toilet tissue. All right. Don't identify the crap. We already know there is an issue. We already know there's a problem. Why is the problem and how are we going to fix the problem? Is where we're at and saying it's too easy I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's a good way to describe the problem that we're having with these games make sure you bring toilet tissue all right so let's start with this first with the first game Street Fighter 6 and the arguments that we have there with Street Fighter 6 and ultimately I want to end on Tekken because I'm I'm actually really a Tekken player uh, more than I am anything else uh, I enjoy Tekken the most but I have played Street Fighter. Um, I got the diamond and I was just happy where I was at. But I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed Tekken, you know. I haven't played, not excuse me, Tekken. I played Street Fighter and I enjoyed Street Fighter uh, very, very much. And I put the game down as soon as Tekken released because Tekken is the game that I actually love and I actually enjoy. But Street Fighter ultimately is a really good game. But why are people complaining about it? Hmm. And the reason people are complaining about Street Fighter again is because they're the, the, the rule of thumb of what they're saying is the game's just too easy. Why is it too easy? And I don't I don't think it's easy. Uh, we, we keep on saying it's easy. We're, we're only identifying a symptom and not really going to the core issue. And I think the core issue is that we do not feel like going in and figuring out the game. We want to play the game the way that we want to play it. It is what it is. I, I do that. I, I play the game the way that I want to play it. Uh, I play Street Fighter 6 like Street Fighter 2, honestly. Um, and am I allowed to do that? Yes. But should I complain when I get freaking drive uh, drive impacted? Is, is that a word? 
If I get DI'd, there we go. If I get DI'd, should, should I complain that I'm getting DI'd if I'm playing the game like Street Fighter 2 and its intent is to be played like Street Fighter 6? Come on, guys. But I think the core, the core issue and the core problem here with Street Fighter is the mechanic itself. Um, so, so easy drive impact one button, easy perfect parries, easy drive rush, right? I think that's the issue more than anything else because it took effort to do a FADC in Street Fighter 4. Remember Street Fighter 4 and you had an FADC? Remember that? Remember that? And it took a level of skill to get there, right? And now they split up FADC and now it turned into a free counter, you know, with drive impact, if you want to call it that. At least that's what it looks like to me. It's a free counter, whether you're you're blocking against the wall, you get a, you get a splat, boom, that's pretty much what a counter does, you know, and allows you to go into the next combo. Or you're not blocking, boom, you got it, or you're doing that same time. You know how it works, free counter. And then you got the perfect parry. There, there's no risk reward with the perfect parry like it was in Street Fighter 3. And then the, the drive rush, um, again, it's not it's FADC done easy. And um, I think those are the issues. There isn't a challenging a core mechanic of the game that met, lets the more experienced players um, take, take advantage of the game, you know? But here's the catch, guys. And what I'm really, what I'm willing to say is we still haven't broken the game because we want to play the game the way we want to play it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the Capcom, um, the Capcom developers had mentioned that, yo, we want you to break the game. We want you to figure out how to destroy the game. But we haven't destroyed the game. We just sit there and com complain about it and say, we want this to be Street Fighter V. We want it to be Street Fighter IV or any other Street Fighter you can think of. We want it to be that. But here's the catch. Street Fighter has never been legacy. Can we agree to that? Street Fighter has never been legacy. I think, I think we're allowed to agree, uh, together agree, that Street Fighter's never been legacy, so why are we complaining? Someone, one of the things that I've said um, in the past was, if we released Street Fighter Six, no, sorry, Street Fighter Five as a different game, I, I think I think it would have been fine, and it would it would have gone further. Like if it released as Darkstalkers, I think it would have gone further. But again, Street Fighter has never released as if it was a legacy game. So I think that brings us to the next part right here. It it, it brings us to Tekken, right? And that's the thing that we're all complaining back about, honestly, um, in the Tekken community is the legacy, the lack of legacy that's that that that's there. Um, and I think we can all agree that there's a little bit of legacy that we wish was still there in the game. But the problem with Tekken is that we what is considered a core mechanic and what naturally moves forward and progresses with this game. It doesn't naturally move forward and progresses with this game. Uh, we all thought that Rage Arts was stupid. Are we allowed to say that? Are we, are, are we allowed to agree that we all thought Rage Art was stupid? I, I definitely think I think it was Rage Art was stupid. You know, um, Rage Drive was cool, I guess you could say, but Rage Art was it was stupid. We we all can agree it was kind of stupid. It was like a it was an easy button. But at the end of the day, Tekken Seven. Um, it was it was a great game, even though a lot of people complained about it because it had Tekken legacy and we generally understood how the game works. Right. We generally understood how this game worked. All right. But here it is. This this is the part where 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 Tekken eight. That's the, what I think is the problem with Tekken eight. And maybe you think the problem is. Uh, also, I don't think Tekken 8 is easy. It is what it is. You're like, well, it's easier for people to get into it. Well, that's one thing. But overall, I do not think Tekken 8 is an easier game to play because if it was, we wouldn't have so many people complaining about it. They would just be like, it's easy, and I'm just beating people up. And, and again, I get it. You got Eddie, you got you got Victor, and you just spam 2-2-2-2-2 two, 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 or 3-3-3-3-3, three, 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 and you can do some great stuff. But go lab them and they're immediately shut down. And I kind of enjoy shutting people down that like to spam the same thing over and over again. It kind of is what it is. But, but here it is. The problem that I've seen, and in my opinion, with um, Tekken 8 is that what we believe the mechanic is supposed to do and how it's supposed to work, it does not work in that way. 
What do you mean, CJ? What are you talking about? We're talking about heat. We're talking about heat. The heat burst, heat drive. We're talking about heat. And the way I believe that a lot of people expected to do in our FGC mind, because even if you go back to Street Fighter, even though Drive Impact and Drive Rush and Perfect Parry, they, we don't like them because it's easier to input. At the end of the day, it works the way it's supposed to work. Whereas with this heat, it doesn't respond in the same way it's supposed to. Um, you start doing a combo and you're like, boom, his feet up in the air. You, you do the push the heat button once, boom, you got him. You heat the heat, heat button twice, you got him. Boom, great. It's almost like a it's almost like a level one super, where the rage art is a level two super or a level three super. And so you, you can understand that. You you do a launch and you can perform that, or you can perform a rage art and everything's fine, right? I think we can all agree. That 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 might be some, something we'd be able to agree on, right? Right. Hold on, let's take a sip of the coffee because I'm parched. But here it is. The problem with heat, even though it does some of what we expected it to do, it does not do what we want it to do. The heat mechanic, we all thought, and nobody else is saying this, it might just be me saying it, I don't know. And you might be like, yo, CJ, that's dumb, that's stupid. Well, you already said it was easy, so why does it matter what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but we all thought that this was a mechanic that will help extend our combo, very similar to Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Tekken Tag Tournament 2, what we understand Tekken to do is be able to bring something in, do a little bit of extra stuff, shoot it out, and then keep on going with your combo to extend it and right now you're spiraling in the other direction um i have a few examples of that but you know but i think you guys know what i'm talking about um maybe i'll put a little video up i don't know we'll figure it out but at the end of the day either the combo just ends or b uh it doesn't go in the direction you expect it to go in because uh it doesn't the mechanic doesn't work with the properties that you know take Tekken already has. Again, it's not to say that um, Tekken is supposed to have a certain type of legacy, um, but we understand Tekken is a legacy game, so why wouldn't you bring a mechanic from the past into this but make it one player? To me, it makes sense because, again, a lot of people are saying, hey, I wish Tekken 7 was Tekken Tag 2, and now we're at Tekken 8. We're like, we wish this was Tekken 7. Just bring both the things in there. So now going back to Street Fighter, Street Fighter has all the street versions of Street Fighter in it. Just dumbed down a little bit. Whereas Tekken, it's like, yo, this is almost a new game. I've heard several people even say, maybe we should get a new game instead of having Tekken 8. This could have been a whole new IP. And to a certain extent, I don't disagree. The point of my video here is... The game is not it's not dumb because it's easy. It's dumb because the mechanics don't work the way we expected it to work. Uh, and I think each and every one of you now that you know I've given you a direction to go in uh, when it comes to Street Fighter or Tekken, uh, instead of just saying it's easy, pick out a mechanic in there and really break down the mechanic and describe why that mechanic should or should not be there. And, and instead of identifying the symptom, identify the disease. And break down that thing again. I got that from the the developers over at Galaxy making um, making Killer Instincts. They they found the symptom and went to the disease, and they and they targeted disease and not the not the symptoms. I challenge each and every one of you guys to do that instead of saying this game. The reason why I don't like it is because it's easy. Just say you're catching L's and you don't like it because you're catching a lot of L's because you don't understand it, and that's okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But yes, that's kind of my stance on that. So with that being said, guys, um, tell me what you think in the comments below um, about this topic. We can have some dialogue. We can go back and forth about this. Uh, I don't mind. If you write me a paragraph, I'm probably going to be like, okay. Because <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you um, the way you want me to. But I, I will have discussion with you. Um, but let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Success and victory. Don't block with your face, and I will see you guys on the next time. Peace out.